Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's Anthony, New York Pipe Smoker. I'm back again with another review. Um, it's been about, what, two weeks? But mostly, um, can't give you a reason uh, that's so drastic why I couldn't. It's just busy, like a lot of people. Spring, summer's turning around. Uh, I am chasing um, some work. I'm actually coming up with an interview in uh, two days. Today being Tuesday. Uh, the interview being on Thursday of this week. Uh, wish me luck. Um, I have that. And, well, by the end of the day, there will be two prospects uh, that I should be able to choose from. And I'm just hoping to get back to work as soon as possible. Anyway, um, stepping away from the personal stuff, uh, we're here for a tobacco review. Um, I got a kick that, you know, when I started this, what, we're getting on to at least a year. Um, I was mentioned that arrows were not my strength. Um, that preference was um, Virginia's and Vapors. Vapors, for me, are really nice. Uh, I like some of the Kentucky blends. Uh, you hear me mention quite a bit the H, uh, excuse me, Mac Barron, uh, H&H, &H, um, uh, Dark Fired. Um, I found a few other, one that, uh, other ones that I could compare to. I have a list, actually. I'll start doing that also uh, when I do these reviews. And also, another issue being that hopefully um, I'm already looking at the time. I try not to eat up so much time. Unless it really gets interesting, or uh, I guess something that really I come across. But um, housekeeping, I'll be smoking out of my Ardor, which I start to enjoy more and more every day. There's the stampings. Um, a rusticated finish, not sand because it's a little craggy. Uh, you have the blue dot on the stem from Ardor, that's one of their trademarks. Okay, it's a sterling silver, sterling silver. always guys, uh, the tongue tie, has a lot to do with uh, when I was young, bilingual, and who I am, as what I uh, was told when I was younger. Um, it has a stamping on the band that I can easily read, I need a magnifying glass, hey, getting old. Anyway, the uh, stampings on this is uh, DR over R door. Um, the style, which is um, Urano or Ur Urano, anyway, spelled U <laughs> U R A N O. Um, anyway, over Italy and Fatamano. Fatamano is made by hand, a handmade piece of uh, briar uh, pipe. Uh, as you heard, I love accent come in real easily. Um, that's my Italian background. And um, there's also another stamp on the back of the stamp. And it says Ardor. So they're making sure that you have everything that belongs to Ardor in case there's replacement stems, which are happening more and more. I know that. Anyway, uh, rusticated finish, uh, smooth um, back. Where they have the stamping area. I know Joe Case, if you guys do like that. Um, the rim of the bowl is smooth. I actually like that type of look. The stem, if you could see, dark amber. Has a lot of highlights. Because it's kind of clear. Acrylic. All right. And it's a sitter. I'm going to call this like a, um, a tan finish. Because most of the uh, pipe makers in this type of tint, they all say it's, uh, it's a tan finish. Anyway, and a tobacco that I'll be smoking, um, which I didn't buy as an aromatic. Um, I tried different tobaccos uh, as much as I can. This is McC McClellan's. Gray Havens, it's the Craftsbury. I'm saying that correct, yeah. Craftsbury series. Uh, here's the tin. Oh, I'm gonna comment if I find um, the fragrance of the tobacco to be outrageous, at least for me. And if, um, I guess, artistically, if the um, the cover work on the tin something nice. I kind of like the way it's set up. I mean, it's just a, uh, um, I'm going to, I'm going to say floral scene, but it's just the colors seem to be, uh, I don't know. It's nice. Springtime, I guess. Uh, I guess it's cause it gets, it's against the white background that it catches my eye. Um, 
I asked a friend of mine if he smoked. He says he had the two uh, tins or tin in the um, in his cellar. Anyway, I was the first one with seen between Irish Mike um, at the club, um, Sal from Howard Beach. These are the nicknames until they tell me I can use their real names. And um, they are both saying that uh, it's. Oh wait, actually, Irish Mike smoked for a whole tin last week, and he says it's an outrageous smoke. Um, the description, and it comes from TobaccoReviews.com. Um, I use them just for the description. I could go to McClellan's site. It's a lot easier to go to two Tobacco Reviews. And the way, um, the description is a harmonious blend of lightly fragrant, and it should have caught my attention because I took this as a vapor. Um, lightly fragrant, matured Virginia, and premium white burley with just a hint of Louisiana Perique. I just thought that, you know, they, they are... The blends are starting to talk about light perique, sweet perique. You could notice that sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But I wanted to see if I could find another vapor. Um, I should have used the reviews um, or actually go on site before I picked it up. But this was in front of me at one of the um, shops and I just picked it up. It says that you experience the rich taste of fine natural tobaccos, which you do. And those around you enjoy mellow and pleasing fragrance. It's The room note's pretty nice, very sweet. Um, in the notes, it says that the name Grey Havens is taken, eh, sorry, is taken from the works of J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, Grey Havens, Mithlan, the harbors of Sudan, at the eastern end of the Gulf of Sorry Guys Loom, from which the elves of the north of Middle Earth passed into the west during the later ages. Um, I am a J.R.R. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien fan. I love Lord of the Rings. I actually enjoyed the hobby this past uh, two winters. I uh, didn't expect it to be a three-parter, but again, I'm not a a um, fanatic, but I am a fan. Anyway, brand is McClellan, blended by McClellan, manufactured by McClellan. Right here at the back of reviews, blend type aromatic. Um, the contents are Burley, Perique, Virginia. It says flavoring none, but there is some kind of flavoring. Um, some of the reviewer, reviewers were mentioning that they taste some type of casing. It's a ribbon cut. It's in a... Well, the one I bought is a 2 ounce. Is it 50 grams? Because I don't want to make myself a liar. Oh, uh, I was going to say 2 ounces. a little bit less. 50 gram tin. And you can buy the four noggins, smoking pipes. That's what their recommendation. Anyway, strength is mild to medium. Yeah, yeah not that strong a, a kick. Flavoring is very mild, but it's there. I don't consider it mild. I, I consider it uh, not very mild, but maybe mild. Uh, taste mild to medium, and room no pleasant. Very pleasant. Everyone commented on it. Um, again, the reviews being done, first I enjoy the blend, and I like to present it to my uh, subscribers. And thank to, thanks to all the new subscribers. And if I'm remembering correctly, and I should have went back in my um, email, uh, one of my new subscribers, I believe his name was Jeff, says it was time to do a car studio review. As you can see, I'm in my car. Um, I was mentioning that I live in a condo, and uh, they found some kind of problem with the balconies, um, construction, physical problem. Engineers um, recommended that the uh, the management team, the uh, company that runs the uh, condo, uh, to do some uh, repairs on the balcony. So I've been out of off the balcony for over 60 days. That's why it's been hard to find a place to uh, do a review. As soon as I get even more comfortable, anytime I hit one of these um, lounges, cigar lounges, uh, even some of the places that know me, I will be hopefully doing some reviews from the shops, the uh, brick and mortar. Anyway, uh, let's get started because... Um, wow. Nine minutes. Okay, let's do this real quick. Right off the top, taste the burling. I taste the type of like casing. Haven't done a retro hail. 
But room note, I'm inside the cabin, the car cabin. Uh, immediately, I could feel, I could uh, take a uh, what, what is it? Uh, a sample of the room note, and um, it's sweet. Yeah, the Virginias come in real quick. Um, you can taste the tanginess of the Virginias. Um, in the background of that, there's the burlies, the nuttiness. Okay, I seem to constantly pick up case and for me would be something like a sugar so it could be a caramel but it's not chocolate chocolatey I always make a mistake with that don't I um could be a uh, sugary topping would be something close to honey because um, they did mention it sorry I'm going to the back uh back uh, I some background notes in my head and um someone mentioned almost like a honey taste me and honey don't agree I usually get tongue bite anything that says that's the case with honey but this was an outrageous smoke I'm not puffing um, like a freight train but I am building up some heat, but the tobacco shows that it's fine tobacco, just it's the way it's coming through. I do taste tobacco flavors, which would be the blending of the Virginias, the Burley, and the Perique. Not tasting the Perique yet, because that usually has a little mm, spice, a little bit of a little kick. I'm not tasting it yet, doesn't mean it's not there. Instead of turning this is already up to 12 minutes, so let me see if I can come up with two. Ooh, sorry about the little bit of sweat. We're hitting close to 90 inside the cabin. I am in the shade, but I tend to. Hey, listen, it's summer. It is what it is. Um, I'll get back to you. I'm going to go halfway through the bowl, then by the end, and um, give you my take on this tobacco. Well, I'm smoking through. And now I remember why I said I would do a review. Um, you know, it mentions in its labeling, uh, the blend, uh, one of the first tobaccos up um, written is lightly fragrant burley. The burley comes up. You get tobacco flavor. Um, the burley's there, the nuttiness. Um, but on the retro hill, I started smelling a sweetness. And it's not the Virginia's, it's not tanginess, it's sweetness. And I'm um, about a quarter, a quarter, not half yet. And I remember this is exactly what happened, is that the casing starts to come through. It starts to mellow, blend, mix with the tobacco flavors. Um, The burley's there, but there's a little bit more sweetness. And with the burley, you get the tobacco. Now, I love, um, I've, I've said it in most of my reviews, I have no issues to present myself that as far as tobacco, the tobacco itself, if it wasn't cased, um, I enjoy the flavor. A good Virginia, um, a good Kentucky. Um, I haven't smoked straight up Perique or straight up Lat uh, Latakia, Latakia, but as far as uh, straight, even the American blends, that's how come Carla Hoare has uh, my attention. Uh, so Walter Raleigh, a friend, made me taste that. That's pretty nice. I know it's an arrow, but it's also not one of the... See, I hate saying better or worse type of aromatic, but it's not a tint, uh, even though you could buy bulk. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to smoke all the way down to the uh, end of the bulk, which is a good half hour. 
and um, I'll present the balance of my uh, review. And the way, um, oh, I had trouble, and I know it showed, uh, keeping it lit. I packed a little tight. I was able to drop the poker in there, loosen it up, and now it's just burning perfectly. Actually, one of the good things about the tobacco is once it gets lit, I haven't had to relight it. And I'm running the AC with the windows open. It's a little cross vent, which is good. Well, I'll be back um, at the end of the smoke, um, giving you the rest of my uh, observations for, as far as taste and um, what I like about the tobacco. See you soon. You gotta like how this was written up as an um poor Paul. Um, O O M poor shape, you know, full bent pipe. Uh, actually, uh, Pipe Lloyd has quite a few. So I'm, I'm gonna say it's medium size, and it's been giving me a little bit over 40 minutes. But um, I mean, it's easy to keep it in mount. Um, I was a clench as it is with certain pipes, almost a lot of pipes, and I can't keep uh, in my mouth that long because some of the pipes are a little heavier. But this is so easy just to hang off your your chin. Anyway, back to the tobacco. When it was uh, the first day out of the tin, I was able to uh, pick up the tanginess of the Virginia. Today it's about a week or so later. I'm gonna say it's a little bit over eight or nine days. Um, I would still come out the very end. Uh, I'd like to recommend this to all my uh, subscribers and anyone that sees the review on Collins uh, Gray Havens. Um, one of the reviews mentioned that off of TobaccoReviews.com. One of the, re the reviewers um, that wrote um, on this tobacco. Mentioned a casing, and I'm going to tell you it has a casing. Um, it's written up as an aromatic, and it can't just not be. It cannot just be. It cannot just be. All this tongue tied and all this brain freeze, huh? But uh, that's who I am, and I always bring it up because it is fun. But the burley came through throughout the smoke, and I mentioned that I do have uh, a liking to burley. So some people don't like burley. They say sometimes it burns hot. Now, at the very beginning, uh, it was a little bit of a strong burly. Um, I'm going to say a little harsh. Then as it smoked down the bowl past the quarter, the casing, um, that sweetness. I'm going to come out with a flavor, and this is what I taste on my palate, like almost like a burnt sugar. I, I started tasting a toastiness, and then it went right back to like a burnt sugar. Um, toastiness usually tells me that you have the, the Virginia, because... Um, certain Virginias stoved uh, come out to have a very nice toasty flavor. Um, the mouthfeel on this smoke is very light, very full. Um, and um, let's see, um, the Burley's there. I'm going to say that the Virginia has to be there. I couldn't come up with the tanginess now a week down, down the line. But I mentioned that when I first smoked, because I smoked about four or five bowls already since I bought the tin. I just didn't finish the tin. Um, I did notice the tanginess of the Virginia and a slight spice off the Perique, but because it says lightly, um, how, did, how did it phrase? A hint of Louisa, uh, Louisiana Perique. Uh, it's very light uh, condiment leaf. Um, guys, gals, um, to all, uh, you see this review, I'm going to recommend it. It might not be one of the premier uh, tobaccos on your rotation with arrows or during the summer but uh, very easy to visit every few weeks and uh, enjoy a full tin. Uh, again, um, I never expected this uh, to be something that I would like and never expected that I would like arrows and, and I was the first to say that everyone's palate is different to my own. I do love my Virginias, I do like my Burley blends and now, now I would see, um, the Kentuckys, um, and in the fall and winter, uh, my Latakia blends all of Takia. Um, hope to um, come up with a review or another blend. I got a few arrows right now. Uh, 
in my arsenal or in my cellar. Uh, one in particular, um, South from Howard Beach, uh, gifted me about I'm going to say about two or three ounces, two ounces, and it's an outright, uh, outrageous uh, aromatic. Uh, I really do enjoy. Um, I'll show another pipe on the next one. Four, nine, thirteen. Oh shoot! Now I'm at fifteen and change. Listen, um, tamp lightly, smoke slowly, and do enjoy. And see you soon.